hey guys I will show you how to fix this problem so you have to just follow my screen and we will fix this issue together so firstly just right click on the start icon and click on settings and once we are here you need to click on these three lines and just go to accessibility and then again scroll down and search for keyboard from the interaction section so select it and now you have to uh, just enable this option on screen keyboard so the keyboard will pop up on your screen so just minimize this and close this one now we have to the go to the search bar and type here R U N and open it again type here R E G edit and click on OK now select S once we are here you need to go to the R8042 so I will show you how to go there <coughs> I will go back to the main screen and I will show you how to do it so first of all you have to expand the HK local machine then go to the system folder expand it now you have to uh, open the current control set so just simply click here to expand it and then you have to expand the services folder and from here you have to find out the uh, folder i8042 port simply select it and on the right side you ha you will you have to right click on the start select modify and change the value data as to 1 and click on ok so close this one and again go to search bar uh, you have to find out the device manager you can use this on screen keyboard again you can directly right click on the start icon and select device manager and from here you need to expand the towers of keyboards as well as uh, the uh, mice and other pointing devices so firstly we will expand this one and for the particular devices right click on it select properties and then go to the drivers tab select update driver make sure you are connected with in your internet connection then select search automatically for drivers option then the best drivers will be installed automatically now close this window close this one also then expand this one and for the particular device you have to right click on it select properties again go to the drivers tab select update driver and select search automatically for your drivers and then close all windows one by one and you have to just restart the system that's it guys don't forget to like the video and please do subscribe the channel please check out the pin comment that will also help you a lot to fix this problem so you are good to go